Yeah, by, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Preacher, uh, how do you feel about Isaiah 14 12? What about it? How do you feel about it? Yeah, you see about scripture. Huh? Yeah. All scriptures, God great. All scriptures, God great. Profitable for correction. In Jesus' name. So, if you have a problem with scripture, it's your understanding. That's the myth. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon. May God bless you. I am back after five months. Over five months ago, I was preaching here down about the Lord Jesus Christ and I was attacked by a Muslim. So what shall we say about that? When we are living, supposed to be a Christian country. Stop praying to a man, mate. I'm not praising man, mate. I'm praising pray the living man. Pray, pray. I'm praying the living God, my friend. What living God? I'm preaching the living God. He's dead. As I told you, my friend, Isn't Jesus dead? over five months ago, I was attacked by a Muslim. What are you chatting about, just man? Stop say, lying. Just to say Jesus Christ is the Lord. Stop lying, man. I'm not lying. You are lying. God knows I'm not lying. Did he give you a cut in your face? I'm not, I'm not lying. Did he cut your face? But we Christian, we will never be shaken. Oh, we Christian, we will be attacked. We will be persecuted. We will be mocked. We will be weeping. We will never give up on Jesus. We will come back stronger. When you do a life story, write your life story. Give us a fucking penguin or something. We don't want to know your life story. We Christian, we believe by the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians 2, 12, where Jesus is Lord. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. And the Bible says against such there is no law. And let me tell you something, my friend. This is the inner character of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the inner character of the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. That's why in Matthew chapter 5, when in Matthew chapter 5, and since the multitude he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and told them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, sake of the kingdom of heaven. And finally, he said, Blessed are ye when men shall defile you and persecute you. And shall say, O man of people against you, cause me for my sake. He said, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. You are so persecuted, say the property which is before you. Ye are the salt and the light of the earth. But it does not have no same way we shall be salted. We are Christian. We are Christian, my friend. We are the soul and the light of the earth. I am God, not I am. Is not I am. You I am as nothing. Because you I'm are asking, leaving. I'm asking you a question. Just because I'm Christian your praying for you. We pray for our enemy. Yes, sir. Not, not a coincidence, my friend. Yes, you you Muslim brothers. You Muslim brother, you, you are living Muslim in this brother. country. Yeah, you are country, blessed man. because of Christian. You are, yes, you are blessed because of Christian, my friend. Because we are praying for you. We are blessing you when you are persecuting us. We are blessing you when you are persecuting Jesus Christ said, love your enemy. Yes, Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, yes, and pray for them which despite for you and persecute you, yes. that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. What are you talking about? Let me tell you something, my friend. What are you saying? Let me tell you something. As an ex-Muslim, I prayed five times a day. I fasted, but Allah was silent. Allah never answered my prayer, my friend. By the way, Allah is a master, and you are a slave. Therefore, my friend, there is no relationship between you the master and the slave. You do as your master. Slave of God. He wasn't Jesus no, he, slave no, of God. he was not a slave of God. No. What was he, he was doing when he was praying to him? Jesus Christ is the Son of the Most High God. Yes. What do you mean, Son? John 3 16 says, what, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not Brother perish, God but have the everlasting life. Worship the Creator, not the creation, you idiot. The Creator. <laughs> the Old no, the creator. no man can see God. No God. No man can see God. Yes, Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. No, Jesus Christ has seen God. It's not in your Bible, no man can see God. He is in the bosom of the Father, my friend. It's not in your Bible. Jesus Bible, no Christ man can see is the God only begotten Son of the Father.
That's right, sir. We, we are mind to see God and we? We are taught in Philippians chapter Amen, man. Amen, Amen. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. In the form of God, so no robbery to be for God. But they sell on their reputation and took upon in the form of a servant. And was made with the likeness of men. And he found fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That is the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow of sing in heaven and sing in earth and sing in the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. We are worshiping a living God, my friend. We are not worshiping a dead God. We are worshiping a living God. And that living God, his name is Jesus Christ. Yeshua. Amen. His name is Yeshua. His name is Jehovah Al Shaddai. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Makadishkim. Al Shaddai, Holy Spirit. We are living, my friend. Christianity is not a religion, my friend. Christianity is a spirit. It's the spirit of God. It's a relationship. It's a relational. We have a personal relationship with our Creator. Do you have a relationship with your Creator, sir? No, you don't. Why? Because your God is your master and you are a slave. So basically, there's no relationship between the master and the slave. You do as your master says do, and you don't do as your master says don't do. But we Christians, we have a personal relationship through Jesus Christ to God, the Yahweh, to God, the creator of the whole universe. Why? Because before the foundation of the earth, the covenant was Jesus lost to Christ the, was there. The covenant the was lost to the, the Muslims. Muslims. The Jews don't have no covenant. We are you taught in no John, we are taught in first John chapter 47, beloved. Believe not every God. spirit, There's but try the spirit, God. whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone Jews out. He and I now ye the spirit you of God. No every spirit that confesses that I'll Jesus Christ came in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ came in the flesh is not of God. Yes. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. You have heard it and it's here today. Yes. Right now, oh, the spirit you know of Antichrist you know is risen, my friend. But let me tell you he something. Great is he that's in nothing. you than he that in the world. Wow. We Christians, we live wow. not by sight, we live him. by faith. You don't fast, you don't give charity, you don't do nothing. Such a we we Christians, we live not by sight, yes. we live by the faith. Amen. And that faith, that hope we have yes, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's lying. Come unto he can't Jesus, speak my friend. Come unto Just Jesus. And then we are told in, he in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. What did he you said, say? Looking unto what did Jesus, you say? The host and what did you say? Faith, I can't understand it. Was the joy that was Just tell me what you said. He was the cross, despising the shame, the and he said, the Holy Spirit, I want this Holy Spirit. Where is we he, man? Christian, I've been we have no past. Time. We have no future. Lies. No Holy we live nothing. in the present. Oh, my God is the God of now. My God is the God of present. My God is not a God of yesterday. And he's not the God of tomorrow. He's the God of now. We are living right now. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. People waking up. Go back to your country and they're told you. You went here. You go back to Africa. You are lost. You go back to where you are lost. I was one is lost like you. I was one is flying like you. I was one is dead like you. But now I am alive. He set me free. He set me free. He set me free. And he said, my son, my son, I will never leave you nor forsake you. My son, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So I urge you, my friend, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Because when you kiss this sweet kiss of Jesus Christ, you will never give up on this. This book, let me tell you something. Bible basically means basic instruction before life ends. Or believe an instruction before life ends. Yes. This book, when you open it, my friend, the blood of Jesus Christ is pouring out. From Genesis to Revelation, there are 66 books in this book. It's a library. There is no other book like the Bible. 
Your story, my story, has been recorded in this Holy Bible. You may be the Samaritan woman, you may be John the Baptist, you may be Job, you may be Jeremiah, you may be Moses, you may be David. Your story has been recorded in the Holy Bible. Therefore, you cannot get away. You cannot get away from God. You cannot get away from Jesus. What is he found you? He will never leave you nor forsake you. What is he found you? He will never let you go. It's unlike Muhammad, unlike Islam. He sent his son, he died for us. We don't have to send our son to die for Allah. Why? Because Jesus Christ came in the flesh. The invisible God became visible. The Almighty God sent his son over 2,000 years ago. He sent his son, he will knew no sin according to the Holy Bible. He will knew no sin became sin that you and I may go righteous. He became poor that you and I may become rich. He became destitute. Why? Because the Bible says, For God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but does the world through him may be saved. He that believed on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already. And this is the condemnation that light came into the world, but men choose wickedness, but men choose darkness. My friends, we all know, every single person, believe me, you and I, we are all worshippers. You may say I'm agnostic, you may say I'm ISIS, I don't believe in God, but you still talk about God. Everybody talk about God. This invisible God, Jesus Christ, everybody talking about Him. He is real. I have seen Him. He showed himself to me. And if you are willing, he will come into your heart. He said, Behold, I am standing in front of your heart, in front of your door, I'm knocking, and anybody open, I will come in and dine with you. Will you accept this blessing? Will you accept this offer to Jesus Christ coming to your heart and save you from the wrath of God? Will you accept this offer like me? Over 10 years ago, I never knew Jesus. I knew him as a prophet, I'm ex-Muslim. I never knew Jesus as the Son of God. I never knew Jesus has been crucified on the cross. I never knew Jesus was divine. But when I give my life to Jesus, He opened my eyes to this beautiful book. To this marvelous book, my friend. He opened my eyes. Believe me, Ibrahim Lincoln said, it is impossible to run the country without the Holy Bible. It is impossible to run your family without the Holy Bible. It is impossible to run the government without the Holy Bible. Why? Because this book has a basic foundation for family, has a basic foundation for a couple, has a basic foundation how to rule a country, he has a basic foundation how to win war against your enemy. What else do you want? Are you going to choose darkness or are you going to choose light? And it's entirely up to you. God is not forcing himself on you, my friend. God is the God of love. The God we worship is the God of love. And he is calling you. He says, come home, my daughter. Come home, my son. And I will show the biggest part the heaven has ever seen. For I have always been father. And I will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? He is calling you. He is calling you, my friend. We Christians, we are not waging war against flesh and blood. According to Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand in the evil day. Having then all to stand, stand therefore, having a lion kit about which you are having on the prayer of the your chest, and your feet showed with the preparation of the God of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith where we shall be able to quit all the fight that of the wicked and take the hammer of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Hello, brother. Do you know how the Muslims are going to punch you off? Well, the question, what can I do? Do you know, that's, I do? The, do you know that's why the police banned ladders? No, I was not here. My friends, we Christian, we are living by the spirit of God. 
We Christian, we are imitating Jesus Christ, but my Muslim friends, they imitate Muhammad. Right. So right. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of different. What imit you imitate a man or you imitate a God. Odin, because Odin. when you imitate a man, you're going to become like this man. But when you imitate Jesus Christ, you're going to become like God. Do you know what Jesus is? Like he, he, he never wore jeans. He never wore jeans. No, Odin, 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 Islam. Odin, 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 the Almighty God, He said, I swear by myself, because there's no greater than me. But the God of Allah swear by pen, swear by the city, swear by moon, swear by the sun, swear by the rain, swear by the mountain. But my God is greater than Allah, my friend. My God said, there's nothing greater than me. Therefore, I swear by myself, I swear by myself, unlike Allah. Therefore, Biology my friend, chemistry. I heard about, you. There's no spirit to be nowhere to save us. Christ. We have to save because ourselves. Because Jesus Christ on, will never leave you no more safe. And hear what? It's in Genesis. Come to Jesus Christ. Answer. Come to the living God. Come to Yahweh. Come to Yeshua HaMashiach. Genesis, go to Genesis. You don't know what the Bible is. You don't know the word of that Bible. You don't know the Bible. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says, you for don't know the I, Bible, God. A child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be born. You're right. You're right. You're right. The mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Lord of peace. Come down, boy. Come down, boy. Yes. My God, you know yes. my God yes. is a God who is a wonderful yes. counselor. Come down, my God boy. is a mighty God. My God is the everlasting Father. My God is a Prince of Peace. Let me tell you something. Napoleon Bonaparte said, I and Alexander conquer half of the world by the sword, by the sword, but Jesus Christ conquers the whole world through love. We Christian, my friend, we are commanded to love our enemies. We are commanded to bless our enemy. Do you love your enemy? Be, be real. Do you love your enemy? You don't know Do you bless it. your you enemy? You don't know Do you pray you for your enemy? I don't think so. I know that because Bible. in your own strength, it is impossible. But with this book, it is possible. Because Jesus Christ is possible. Because Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, like the Samaritan, the Samaritan on the, on the well. No, it's not preaching, Graham. My friend, my friend, this is not propaganda. This is the word of the living God. This is the word of the living God. Therefore, come to Jesus, my friend. Come to Jesus Christ. May God bless you. And may God strengthen you. In who? In Jesus Christ. Hi. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. It's a bit. A bit. I'm going. I gotta go. It's like that.